Hey everybody, Quentin here with Mid-South Outdoor Life, where we are bringing you content all about living an active and outdoor lifestyle. If you're watching this video, I'm going to say that you were probably doing research on how to install a 36 volt trolling motor setup on your boat. Well, you're in luck because I've just taken a field trip to my local battery outfitter store where they're going to give us some installation and wiring tips on exactly that, a 36 volt trolling motor setup. So let's go inside. If you've followed my channel for any length of time at all, you might know that Battery Outfitters is a valued sponsor of this channel. However, what you might not know, unless you've watched the build videos for my boat, the Lucille 4, is I've shopped at Battery Outfitters for quite some time, ever since I built the Lucille 4 and even before that. And the reason I shop here, number one, it's service. Yes, they do have a crazy selection. In fact, let me just show you that selection really quick. Obviously, a store like Battery Outfitters is going to have a wide selection of automotive, marine, and power sports batteries. But what you may not know is that they also have a wide selection of batteries for cell phones, computers, and many other household items. Additionally, they have lots of digital chargers for all kinds of automotive and marine applications, as well as the heavy-duty chargers like you might use in your shop. In addition to all that, they've got every type of connector and pre-made power cable you could possibly want. But what really sets them apart, I'd say it's their service bay. You need a new battery on your car, they're not going to leave you standing out in the heat or the rain or the cold. They're going to bring it inside and knock it out really quick. So I'm inside Battery Outfitters. This is John. He's the store manager. And basically the reason I wanted to get with John today is I know that I personally, when I was looking at wiring diagrams, the first time I hooked up a 36 volt trolling motor setup, I found some of the diagrams to be confusing. For that matter, anytime I look at any wiring diagram, sometimes I get a little confused. But John here has a really simple method that makes you kind of scratch your head and wonder why it was ever confusing. He's going to show us that now. Okay, we're going to set up a 36 volt trolling motor with three 12 volt batteries to equal 36 volts in series. And everyone looks at the wires and just sees a big mess. It's really simple. It's um, you got four wires to this. All, all you have is to run your trolling motor. You got your positive from your trolling motor over here to this battery and you got your negative to this trolling to this battery over here to your trolling motor and you got two wires that connects your positive and your negative side of your trolling motor your negative to positive here your negative to positive here in series to equal 36 volts and that's pretty simple diagram of showing it I know a lot of times when they're compacted together, it looks a little messier, but um, very simple. So you believe the key is starting with your trolling motor. Before you do anything else, you start with the two wires from the trolling motor and just eliminate those. Is that correct? Correct. And then, I mean, it's, it's crazy how simple it actually is. You've got two little jumpers and a positive and negative. And that's it. And these jumpers don't matter what gauge. It matters what gauge they are, but it doesn't matter what color. Correct. As long as they're the same gauge as the trolling motor. Correct. They need to be the same gauge as the trolling motor, yes. It couldn't be simpler. Correct. And this could actually be located anywhere, and they could be turned in any which direction, as long as we start with the positive and the negative Correct. from the trolling motor to our beginning and our end of our series. Yes. Super simple. Okay, to, in order to prolong the life of these batteries, you need a good digital smart charger that will start and stop. As you're charging it, it you, you plug it in, it charges. When the batteries are full, it shuts off. This, this charger charges each individual battery set in, independently. It doesn't charge them all in series like the batteries are set up in series. It just charges them all independently and it will shut down when the batteries are fully charged. Installation is very simple with this charger, especially three charges in one. You hook one set of leads up to one battery, the other set of leads up to the other battery, and the third set of leads up to the third battery. As long as you put positive to positive and negative to negative on all three sets of batteries, you're golden. There are two more things to prolong the life of your new batteries. And the first is ventilation of the batteries while charging. If you can open up the compartment that the batteries are stored in while they're charging, it's great. The last thing you need to do to prolong the life of your new batteries is to bring your, battery, bring your batteries in to your neighborhood battery store and have your batteries tested on a regular basis. This production was brought to you by Battery Outfitters powering everything from lawn tractors and sports cars to RVs and forklifts. With locations all over the Mid-South, they are your neighborhood battery store.